Hey, but first of all, please press on that subscribe button. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is TechGal007. I hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 7 or 8.1. It is pretty easy, so let's get started. Alright, so now we are onto this page on your computer. Find the uh, on the bottom left hand side of your screen, you should see a button with a window button. So you just want to click on that. Uh, as you can see, this is how it looks at the bottom of my screen. And if you click on that, then this page should come up. On there, select settings. It's also on the left side, as you can see, I've shown it. And then you should get this page. And here, look for something called um, or select update and security. I've shown that on there as well. And then now on this page, select recovery on the left hand side of the page. Then on here, uh, on the right side, you should get some options uh, to let you know if you're, if you're previously on Windows 7 or 8.1. So whichever you're on, it'll give you the option. And then at the bottom, where you can see there's a button, it'll tell you. So the button will say, get started. You just want to click on get started and that should get you started on going to uh, your previous version of the Windows that you had. Now, while that's happening, I just want to remind you that Microsoft will ask you the reason why you're switching back to Windows 7 or 8.1. You can just select between between the pre-mentioned reasons or provide feedback to whatever you want to uh, once done just click on next button and then what happens is if you've gone over 30 days of since you have upgraded there are going to be some changes it's not going to be very major um, th the reason for this is that uh, when you do an upgrade Windows uh, itself will um, keep some of the files okay so there will be some changes in regards to the uh, the Windows that you had previously so you might see some changes on there this is because Microsoft saves all the from important data from your from your previous operating system in a folder called windows.old um, on hard disk once the 30 day period is over the data is deleted to free up space but um, that should be fine you should be able to get as normal as you used to be all right so that's it then guys i hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this if you liked it and also on the description down below i will be having a link to my other channel please have a visit and don't forget and don't forget to subscribe to it if you like cooking and natural remedies that can cure your illnesses okay and obviously share it thank you bye